everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to talk about sql server plan cache okay so in this video i'm going to fetch the details about you know whatever the query present in a cache memory okay so we'll see how to do that okay and before starting the session i would request to each and everyone who are newly joined on channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share if you like the video please click the like and if you want to join the channel member you can join as a member oh by clicking the join button okay so let me connect manage studio quickly so basically this query will give you the exact overview about you know it will fetch the record from your cache memory whatever the plan at present present in a cache memory okay so let me execute the query then you will see the better overview if you go and click this query as you can see these many query execution plan at present present uh, available in a, you know our uh, plan cache okay so uh, the first column it will give you the huge counts okay and the second is you know the catch cache object type and this one is object type and this is obviously the query whatever the query present in a cache memory and this is the query execution plan by clicking the this xml you will directly see the query execution plan so these many queries at present present in this sql server instance 01 okay so this is the query execution plan you can see you can say that you know uh, at present in your cache memory so let me talk about here the object type so as you can see uh, ad hoc ad hoc means you know uh, this is recently executed okay prepared something means it's already used uh, already prepared by sql server engine and some parameters is like you know whenever you execute the store procedure it will come like proc p r o c k proc okay if you go and execute one of the store procedure let me execute one store procedure then you can see the difference execute one store procedure just for a try okay now i am going to execute this query again let's see here it the object type for the store procedure will come like proc if you go down if you can see the proc right so for store procedure the object type will be proc for ad hoc query it will be like ad hoc and the prepared something like sql server already prepared the plan okay so now see the benny uh one of the query i'm going to write away fire dbcc okay now i'm going to clean the buffer memory okay let's see the difference now i'm going to execute this dbcc command dbcc free pro cache okay let's see if you execute this dbcc now you can see here all the query is gone right it's cleared if you execute one more time now you can see all the plan is flush out from the buffer memory okay only the plan is available which is you are running right now okay this query only the select cpu user count so basically this dbcc free podcast is cleaning your buffer memory whatever the plans available in a buffer memory this dbcc free podcast is cleaning so next time whenever you go and execute any query the sql server engine will fetch the record from the database files and again it will keep here in your buffer memory okay so that's the reason when you are hitting this dbcc free pro cache on a production environment things thousand times don't do because it will the you know impact your performance issues so today agenda is talk only for those uh, in, you know uh, to fetch the details for only the uh, you know on the query which is available in a plan cache okay so i'm going to share this script you can also utilize it uh, you know how to fetch whatever the 
क्वाइडी एक्सक्यूशन प्लान एट प्रेजेंट एवेलेबल इन अफर मेमोरी ओके नाउ यू कैन गिव ए ट्राई लेट्स फेच सम रेकॉर्ड सम एंड लेट्स सी ओ दर इज नो रेकॉर्ड एनी वे लेट वी एक्सक्यूट सम अदर टेबल्स Okay. <coughs> Now I'm going to execute, and let's see. Definitely, the plan plan case, the lot of you know, is available. Okay. Now again, the query plan is available in a buffer memory. So again, if someone going to execute this query, this table, the same record, they will not fetch the data from the database files. They will directly fetch the data from your data case. by using this query plan okay now let me clean again i'm going to clean i want to show you one more thing okay so at present only the plan case query plan is available for this query only if you execute twice so you you can see here the huge quants going to increase right like so by seeing the huge counts you can easily identify which query is going to use so frequently on a particular database okay this is also a helpful command by seeing this huge counts you can easily identify which query plan is going to use so frequently okay if you execute one more time see six times it's executed okay so that's it for today guys i will paste this query in a description you can utilize it by how to pull the records whatever the plan available in your cache memory okay thank you we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you